friends i am keesh talati from government polytechnic gandhinagar serving there as a capacity in lecturer in english under the commissionerate of technical education government of gujarat today we are going to talk about dabba walas mumbai's best managed business and this is the author amrish divan ji students whenever you see your syllabus and you see the new chapters in that a vision is there to be kept that why are these chapters in your syllabus for example the title dabba walas it means something very simple to us but when we go through the chapter you can come to know that see even small people also so big wonders and miracles they can create they show their ability their capacity by working by precision by speed and that is why we can say that these people that is it is not only prince charles who has taken interest in the dabba walas you know very well that prince charles is the prince of england there must be something in the dabba walas something peculiar that he had to take interest in the dabba walas and these dabba walas they have earned name and fame when bbc that is british broadcasting corporation made a documentary in the late 70s isn't it funny that a documentary made of dabba walas in late 70s that is round about more than four decades before we are studying now in our syllabus so normally when we talk about indians when we talk about indian products when we talk about indian factories every time we think that we people are delivering something inferior in comparison to the foreign products no friends it's not so if you go through this chapter you will come to know that yes there are people who have earned a name and fame and it made it compulsory for bbc to make a documentary and made it known to the people all over the world in 1990s that is dabba walas became a management lexicon what is a lexicon that is they became a management terminology as well as a part of mumbai's blurring that is very fast hectic life now what made this dabba walas a mexican uh, lexicon that's let's see today they are fated that is they are celebrated regularly again a question why invited to lecture students of business management now see these dabba walas they are normally educated up to 8 to 10th standard and they are invited for lectures of business management something they are not able to uh, digest they are applauded by corporate chiefs again corporate chiefs normally we know them they are of very high uh, qualifications and above all these dabba walas are now used as models now models that is working models how these people they work under what circumstances what difficulties they face how do they overcome their difficulties so many things minutely are studied about this dabba walas and that's why we call them that they are models for business school of managements ragunath medge now remember this name because he is the president of nutan mumbai tiffin box suppliers charitable trust and this ragunath megde who is the president he is going to address the students of the prestigious indian institute of management once again a question the president of this charitable trust he is going to address the iim that is the indian institute of management why and between some time the students of this management i mean iim they are going to spend time with him they want to see that how does this president work how does he tackle with problems how does he give solutions how fast they are, they work out with solutions are their solutions precise what problems every time they are going to face because every time problems are new again so why are they unique and how do they work we are talking about mumbai now in introduction you can say that what do you mean by dabba wala a dabba wala is a person in the indian city of mumbai whose job is to carry and deliver freshly made food from home caterer in lunch boxes to office workers if you read this introduction you find that this is a very simple job that one has to simply carry a tiffin box or a lunch box from home and just deliver it to the person where he is working it seems very simple 
but actually it's not so in mumbai though the work sounds simple it is actually a highly specialized trade again this word highly specialized trade what do you mean by this and that also it is over a century old that is round about from uh, uh, this uh, trust was established in 1890 and from then up till today it has been working very successfully and it has become an integral part to mumbai's culture let us have a small watch a small clip and see how this dabba walas they work the mumbai dabba walas are a close knit group of 5000 people of stamina values and ethics they are engaged in the business of collecting tiffin boxes filled with homemade food from different houses and distributing them at the workplaces of the earning members of these families in the pre noon and returning empty boxes to the respective houses in the afternoon they move 200000 such lunches to 200000 people working in different organizations all over mumbai city they are not caterers food is cooked and packed at the respective homes of these working people situated at distant suburbs of mumbai mumbai is a city of opportunities it is brimming with a population of 13 million it stretches longitudinally to 70 kilometers the suburban railway service is the backbone of the transport system in the city it moves 6.1 million commuters on its 302 km route length by more than 2000 service train trips daily early morning departure and late night home coming with an average of 3 hours travel time is an accepted routine for a working mumbaiite time constraints deprive him of a good breakfast the battle to board a train need both his hands to be free too hence carrying a tiffin or a bag by him is simply out of question deprivation of a good breakfast economy in expenses health and hygiene dietary preferences and habits make the middle class working people of mumbai cherish homemade lunch at their workplaces and mind that 200000 of them are having it on all working days on time thanks to the mumbai dabba walas the shelf life of these lunches are just 4 to 5 hours therefore timely delivery to the right owner decides the quality of service mix up of tiffins will defeat the very purpose of the service and its business potential hence speed and precision in handling are most crucial one tiffin box shifts hands in transit at least 6 times before it reaches its consumer in his office the same is the case in its return journey as an empty tiffin this means that there are 2.4 million manual movements in transit and 400000 end deliveries within a time span of 3 to 4 hours pre noon and 3 to 4 hours afternoon every day handled by 5000 dabawalas except the train everything is manually handled with no technologies at all in today's world of six sigma quality standards and super technologies for supply chain and logistic management it is a miracle that the failure or mistakes in the service of the mumbai dabawalas is only 1 in 16 million end deliveries that too by accidents or acts of god and not by human failure despite the fact that human beings are everything in this service it is way ahead of six sigma quality standards mind that the dabba walas are literate only to the level of understanding alphabets also mind that this dabba walas business is 114 years old the average age of a dabba wala is 52 years there is no retirement age Many dabba walas are third generation inheritors of the business. People changed, distances multiplied, complexities and sophistication in urban life increased. 
ट्रैफिक कंजेशन एंड बॉटल नेक्स आर माइंड बॉगलिंग येट द मुंबई डबा वाला आर द सेम विद देर टेक्नोलॉजी ऑफ बाइसिकल्स हैंड कार्ड्स एंड द लोकल ट्रेन्स एंड ऑफ कॉर्स दैन सेल्स येट दे आर द बेस्ट इन द वर्ल्ड इन टाइम मैनेजमेंट कस्टमर केयर एंड क्वालिटी ऑफ सर्विस for their simple service they charge rupees 300 to 350 that is 6 to 7 dollars a month whatever you saw in the clip that is picking up a dabba from the house and then delivering it to the workplace they are charging a very less affordable amount and the workforce of the dabba walas which is a cooperative body that runs this system is of only 5000 Each tiffin box contains two or three containers carrying traditional fare that is our normal Indian food, rice, curry, chapatis, and vegetables. Housewives even send notes to their hubbies in these boxes, maybe to remind them about some household work, to buy purchase something for kids or for house. So this is an another use which this dabba walas they are now earning from it also. By this this. idea of sending notes of housewife the dabba walas have now made it a bit you can say professional that they are sending advertisement in the dabbas so more than 2 lakhs people uh, these type of advertisement they reach there the dabba walas work began early in the morning that is cooking food is picked from homes and caterers by dabba walas and taken to the nearest place that is their work starts very early in the morning a dabba wala reaches a home and then he picks that uh, cooked food tiffin from home and makes it uh, to the nearest railway station the second process is sorting the dabbas or tiffins are sorted for specific destinations for example the dabba taken from place a has to be uh, dropped at place d a dabba taken from place b has to be dro- dropped at place t every time this type of sorting is taken and each tray in which the dabbas this boxes are kept that is a rectangular tray which carries up to 40 boxes and these boxes they travel by local trains to various stations of mumbai see this is the way you can see in the picture that how they are carrying it by carts at some places as you saw in the video clip they carry it by a uh, cycle sometimes on their shoulders sometimes those racks on their heads and that is an average of around about a uh, couple of kilometers and the total weight of a rack is around about 35 to 40 kg at each station there are an another set of dabba walas who quickly take the dabba wala dabbas meant to be distributed in that area and push in dabbas meant for the other stations so everywhere where the mumbai train halts dabbas are put in sorted next station the sorted dabbas are taken out and from that station itself new dabbas are placed in the train again this is a whole continuous process at each station there are an another set of dabba walas who quickly take the dabbas meant to be distributed in the area and push it push in dabbas meant for the other stations now there is a time for imagination you saw the local trains moving in the video clips mumbai local train halts at a station for about 20 seconds i remember the time 20 seconds you can say that our dabba walas they have got a time of only 20 seconds within this stipulated time these dabba walas have to push in dabbas at the same time they have to take out the dabbas which are to be which are meant to be taken away on that particular station so these dabba walas have to work with precision very much exactness and accuracy and speed because if the train leaves a dabba that has to be meant and distributed over that particular area that would move forward and during rushing hours it's a nightmare so when it is pick up hours when people office time is there and people they rush for the trains in that rush and bash these dabba walas they work with precision and speed at each station the boxes are once more sorted for localities for example 40 dabbas are taken out at a particular station and then they are sorted now to which area these dabbas are to be look uh, these dabbas are to be given 
that is in the offices and they are carried by handcarts and sometimes they are carried by individuals as we saw in the clip on their heads maybe on bicycles maybe many times they carry on their shoulders also Raghunath Medge, the president, he points out that the Dabawalas carry up to 35 kgs for distance of a couple of kilometers. You might have heard what the clip said, that the average age of the Dabawalas is 52 years. So here again, age doesn't matter. If you have all the will, the wish, commitment and dedication to work, one can do it. Tiffin boxes are placed in reception areas of the office by 12.30 p.m. Watch the time, 12.30, exact time to have your lunch at your office. And these people take so much care, so much precision, so much accuracy that your own tiffin that has been sent from your home that reaches to your office reception area by 12.30 late and then when you have your lunch and after two, three or couple of hours, this tiffin or lunch box is picked up from the same spot by the deliverer a couple of hours later. Again now the process starts again in the reverse. That is the daba from the office reception area is taken. Again it has to be taken to the nearest station and then it starts its journey home. Forbes magazine gave this service its highest quality rating of Sigma 6. Now again a question, what is Forbes magazine and what is Sigma 6 rating? Let us talk about Forbes. Forbes is an American company located in New Jersey. What does it do? Forbes reports on subjects such as technology, science and law. And this magazine is well known for its listing and rankings. It is a very neutral company and when they come to know that this type of technology or this type of people they are working, they study, they analyze and according to that they give rankings. This Dabawalas, they have earned the rank of Sigma 6. Now what is Sigma 6? Sigma 6 is a set of techniques and tools for process improvement. You can see right from the home, the dabas are collected to the nearest station, they are sorted to their uh, prescribed or stipulated de destination and again they are reached to the particular office. Now this is a whole process. Sigma is a rating given to this process where they find errors, they try to identify and remove it. So Sigma 6 seeks to improve the quality output of process by identifying and removing the causes of errors. Which means that per million, that is per 10 lakhs transaction, here you can say exchange, taking a daba from one place to another place, there is just an error of one. Read it again. It means that per million transactions, that is per 10 lakhs transactions, there is an error of one. Imagine the accuracy. Imagine the precision. Imagine the speed that just the local train that hauls for 20 seconds. These Dabawalas, they sort out everything within this 20 seconds. And nowhere technology is used. Nowhere computer is used. These people whom we are discussing about, these Dabawalas, their maximum education is only 10 standard. And yet, you can see the results they have earned the Sigma 6 rating. And this service of Dabawalas runs the whole day because morning they carry the, I mean, they take the Dabba from the home to the nearest railway station, to the destined railway station and then to the office. Then the whole process that it starts revealed back and every day these Dabawalas, they deliver around about 1,75,000 to 2 lakhs lunch boxes. And these figures are given by the president, Raghunath Medge. See the amount of work they are doing. Again a question, how do these Dabawalas manage to distribute the lunchbox to its particular place? Because when you have 1,75,000 Dabas to 2 lakhs Dabas, that is you need 2 lakhs addresses maximum. 
how these people that is who are not even fully literate you can say that they are able to send this dabas to their particular place without committing a single error without making a single simple mistake what is their technique so raghunath medge says we use colors and code markings to ensure faultless delivery again what type of colors and what type of codes what type of markings and how do they use it that these people they are able to ensure that they can go for faultless delivery so without making mistakes they want to sustain their sigma 6 rating here you can see that the capital e is dabawala street code of residential station the second is bo that is residential railway station code that is borivali the three return is destination station code whereas it has to be sent the fourth if you see 2 gpo what does it mean 2 means dabawala's coded station gp means the name building's name for delivery where the dabba is to be delivered and o means ground floor floor number of the building now see if anybody looks at this you would get confused what is this e return what is this g return what does it mean by 2 gpo nobody is able to encrypt this that what is it written but the dabba walas they know very well what it means for them these codes would befuddle that is it would confuse a cryptographer and now a cryptographer is a person who studies the techniques of secret writings and codes etc for example you have your a b c d alphabet 1 to 26 if a is equal to 1 b is equal to 2 c is equal to 3 d is equal to 4 then write down your name and if you give the same codes to your friend he will tell you what you have written so these type of codes they are been used by the dabba walas these codes and colors they indicate the place from where a dabba is collected the station where it must be unloaded and the office it is to be delivered for example alphabet a for them stands for andheri bo it's a short form for them that is borivali are these dabba walas employees because every time when you work we think about what the salary is given what the reward is given but here the answer is a big no no they are not employees then what they are they are shareholders in the trust and they share in their earnings that is again a question why and how again a question why not employees the answer is if you have unions employees go for strikes because wherever up to now we have found and if we study the history of industry we can see that wherever there are unions employees every time they go on strikes every time they want pay hikes which is not possible because if you don't work the factory won't be able to reach to its objectives that is giving a production unless and until the production is being sell in the market you are not able to get profits and unless and until you are not going to get profits you are not going to share your you are not going to get your income what we call it our reward and if you don't work and then also you want more money that's not possible and the result is what the factory goes in loss and after that you have nothing but a big tala on that see and imagine the vision of the founder of the trust they knew very well that if we go uh, if we if we don't have a trust and then if we have employees the problem would be this trust won't go this business won't go for a longer period in a very short time it would collapse there they will have to close the business so these dabba walas that is how much do these dabba walas earn on an average you can say that a dabba wala can make about 3000 to 5000 rupees a month that is each of them the total strength of this dabba walas is 5000 and each of them gets 3 to 5000 rupees per month as a salary or you can say not salary because it's a trust it is their share whatever they have contributed all of them they get the same amount The Nutan Mumbai Tiffin Box Supplies Charity Trust provides several services to its members. That is, this trust, Nutan Mumbai Tiffin Box Supplies Charity Trust, provides several services. They take care of their members. 
because when a person is working he works for whom not only for himself but his family also so every time there is a tension lurking behind his head what about my children what about my parents what about my wife this is the question and the answer to this question is schools for children that is the trust take cares for children and they have schools for the children best schools so that the children they can get acquire good education and even health care services for their family members during emergencies so a person he rests assured and he works with full commitment and dedication for the trust and what makes the dabbawalas an extremely tight knit that is a well organized group there is always a reason that there are 5000 people and these 5000 people they work together what makes them so united what makes them so so well organized because these people they all come from the same region and the same region is pune district of maharashtra they all come from the re- uh, region east of the sayadri that is the western ghats so whosoever joins them is known to them by their name by their custom by their religion does this mean that the trust does not employ outsider now you would say that okay these people have confined to a regional area they won't let any outsider join their trust but no it is not so if somebody skips out or leave or leaves the trust and to fill up that gap they do allow outsiders to join the trust but what do they do if an outsider joins initially he is employed on fixed salary that is he is not given the amount of 3000 to 5000 but he has he has to work on fixed salary he has to win the trust now how can he win trust during that probation period we can call it that newcomer or an outsider he has to show his dedication and commitment towards his work and finally if he succeeds the new person succeeds in doing so he is made a shareholder so you can't even blame these people that strictly they are giving jobs or they are taking people from their own region even outsiders do have opportunity to become a part of this trust only a handful of trust members are not from pure region but most of them anyhow they are related to each other so the same they are known to each other they are familiar to each other and as they belong to the near about same region they all share similar customs and traditions and all of them they worship vithoba of pandarpur who is vithoba of pandarpur medge explains that today that is when he was talking it is prabodhini ekadashi when yatras or pilgrimages as we have during bhadarvi punam people they walk for pilgrimages to ambaji in the same way these people they have their yatras to pandarpur and this is the place where vithoba their deity resides and all the members on this day that is on prabodhini ekadashi all the members they have fast so again a same region so the same customs the same traditions so they know very well what are the problems they are going to face what what are the common positive points they have with them and that is why it makes them a very tight knit group the yet while vithoba is their presiding deity or god or goddess and normally say that we say that whosoever we pray it is their blessings and their showerings that we get success but you can say that this their success that is dabawala's success is linked to the mumbai's sub urban train network see if you had seen the whole video clip you must have seen that the dabbas that are carried from the home and brought to the nearest railway station there the dabbas they are loaded into local trains they travel through local trains and you can say that it is the main way through which these people they are able to do their business and they are able to send the dabbas to the particular located area if the railway network wouldn't be there it was not possible for the dabbawalas to work so successfully on these odd days when the railway is ground to a halt the dabbas are not delivered now if they have strike and the local trains of mumbai if they don't run what would happen but then if mumbai's local trains are running most mumbai it's won't reach their offices 
a common sense question. If they don't reach their office, they would be at their homes and they don't need lunch boxes. So again, a plus point for the Dabawalas that at that time they would say that they have they can have enjoyment time or a holiday or to uh, time uh, spare a time to have their own work done, but their business doesn't suffer. A question is there that if the Dabawalas they were so successful in Mumbai, why these people they have not gone for any type of expansion in this business? Why they have not tried to some other city giving the same benefits to the people over there? Why not have they tried a similar service in other cities? Expansion of business, limitations and what were their limitations? Mumbai's geography makes Mumbai unique, points out Medge. It is the longest city where residences are in the north. See, this is a question of study. If you study Mumbai, you can know that it is the longest study where the residences are in the north and the workplaces, that is offices, they are in the south. So it makes their work very simple. They have to carry the tiffin boxes from north and they have to unload it in the south. Again in the reverse pattern, they have to carry from the south and unload it to their homes in the north. And this geography makes this business a great success. You have the Mumbai Sub-Urban Rail Network in front of you and you can see the names written on the near the railway lines and all those are places where people stay in the north and the tracks that come down towards the south, there the offices, I mean industrial area and offices are located. So if you have a keen look at this clip, you can know very well that it becomes so easy for them to work. Yes, challenges are there that within 20 seconds where the train stops and they have to work out within this 20 seconds, it's very difficult. And unless you don't have any type of precision and speed, it is, it, it is rather impossible to send the particular tiffin box to the particular person. You are there to commit mistakes. But these Dabawalas have proved themselves that they would sustain anyhow the awarded Sigma 6 rating. These people they say that yes, we tried a similar service in Delhi a few years ago but it didn't work out. Why it didn't work out? What were the reasons? These people they were very much successful and even today also they are successful in Mumbai. Then what happened in Delhi? Why they were not able to work out in Delhi? The reason is as we talked, Mumbai is the longest city, whereas Delhi is a circular city. The logistic, that is the planning of collecting the bus, implementation and coordination of business is not possible in a circular city. That is why we say that though their date is Vinoba, Vitoba, but, but, the whole credit goes to the Mumbai Sub-Urban Railway Network. The Dabawala service began way back in 1890. That is more than a century, 125 years back. When Mumbai was a much smaller city, it was in a developing process. At that time, Mumbai just began to grow. and. At that time, migration of workers, that is, workers came to the city and they had just, just begun and they wanted homemade food at their workplaces. People used to stay in the northern part and they used to work in the southern part of Mumbai. But they wanted their homemade food at their workplaces. Now, how could it, it be possible? So, in 1890, the initial trust members, they saw an opportunity there. They, they found out that, okay, this is an opportunity, this is a need of the people and then this Dabawala's business started. Mumbai is a city with people from all over India, but the South Indian want their food while the Gujaratis want their food. So everyone belonging to different states, they wanted their own food and this growing need, you can say, Dabawala's service began to fulfill this growing need of the people serving them their own South Indian and Gujarati food. Today the service delivers not just homemade food but also picks up food from caterers and delivers them to office. Now again a question, why from caterers? 
see today also many people are pouring into mumbai all those who are bachelors or who stay alone in mumbai they don't have homemade food because nobody is there nor, nor their wife nor their sister nor their mother to prepare food from there so these people they select a particular caterer but they want that food delivered at their workplace so these dabba walas they even pick up food from caterers and deliver it to the office to where they work but medge said that food from caterers is a small segment so very less people very less or very less part you can say of the total operation they go for caterers food majority of the people they have food from their own houses most of the people who want to eat homemade food in the offices this is a normal thing all those students who stay in hostels they know very well that what now you start valuing what is your homemade food and what is the food given to you in the mess because home is home and homemade food by mama that's great as long as the dabawala service is there mumbai cars that the people of mumbai they are so lucky that mumbai cars alone in the whole country and in the whole world they would have the option of eating homemade food in office and enjoying their homemade food without the bother of having carrying the cumbersome lunch box imagine a person in mumbai who would carry a lunch box on his shoulder and then he would travel in local train that's near to impossible because um, by the time he would reach his office he would have spoiled his shirt by the dal and all those things or oil on his shirt and every day he would re- reach in a very shabby manner to his office these dabba walas are a solution for them they have they have given a opportunity to each and every mumbai person that uh, the homemade food would reach to them to the office thank you